Welcome to Dee's Kitchen. We are trying, we keep seeing this on Facebook and everywhere else, crock pot caramel made with a crock pot water and one can of sweetened condensed milk. So we are going to put it in sideways so it's covered up with the water. I already measured it, pre-measured it so I knew where it would be. We're going to cover it up and we're going to turn it on low and let it go for eight hours and then check on it and we will be back tomorrow morning and we'll let you know what happens. See you then, thanks. We are back, it's morning and we had our crock pot caramel all night in the little crock pot back there. Shut it off about eight hours in and then I just left it because I was still sleeping so I wasn't getting up to deal with it that time so we're gonna open that shortly. Um, first I am prepping our apples. We are making little kebabs um, we have a dinner thing tomorrow at church, and so I'm making some fruit kebabs. So we have a little bar here. We're going to have chocolates melted later to put on apples and all the fruit. So we'll show you that later. But right now, I'm just going to get these apples chopped up and get those in the lemon water so they don't brown so much. And get those in there. Get them out without cutting my fingers. There we go. And there's that one. Let them soak for a little bit. Then we will dry those off, obviously, before we start dipping. That's why I didn't melt all the chocolates and whatnot yet. That's a big apple. I don't know these will fit in my picture here. Oh, yeah, we got him. We have to fix him up a little bit, but we got him anyways. <laughs> I'll trim those a little bit, but I can do that later. So we're doing a Granny Smith, a Red Delicious, and a Yellow Delicious, just for color in our little tray there. I'm gonna do more, obviously, for the dinner, but for us today, we're just doing a little sample this morning, and then I'll do the real ones up later tonight, so look how cute. Those look pretty, so those will look pretty on their kebabs, and they'll be covered in caramels and chocolates and all kinds of stuff. So all right, well, let's find out if this stuff works or not. I've heard people rave about doing it this way. I don't know. We have our own homemade caramels on there that we made before on our video that we really liked. But I thought we would try this just to see. So we're going to review it today and find out what we think. Well, it's not real dark, obviously. Tastes like condensed milk. Not real caramely flavor. Well, that one tastes a little bit better. A little more caramel flavor. But we're gonna use it anyway because that's why we made it for this recipe today. So we are gonna put that in here. So it'll be ready to do the dipping. I'm not sure this is gonna set up on our apples. So it might have to be more of a drizzle. I don't know yet. Till we get to that step. So we'll get to that step in a little bit here. And then we will come back and show you what happens and where we are, if we got to make more caramel or not. So thanks for stopping by. We'll be back in a little bit. Thanks. All right. We are dipping them in our chocolates. We got them all melted. So we're trying to dip. We just did a little bit today because we're just doing a snack for us to see how it works. I am not loving the caramel. It is too runny. It would be fine as a dip if you just wanted to put on your plate and dip. I was trying to do some individual dishes or, you know, individual pieces for people to pick up and take back to their table for this meeting we're having at church. But as you can see, it's really, really, really runny. So it's not going to set up, I don't think, and stay on there very good. But uh, still, you can just decorate them any way you like. We have some in our tray already up there. Show them up there, bud. Different ones. Peanuts on them, some pretty little sprinkly things if you want. Of course, that's not healthy, but you know, doing apples. But they look pretty. And so, so yeah, I don't know. I think I would use my other caramel recipe if I was going to do this again instead of this one for this kind of a thing. It tastes fine, um, but it's just real runny. I have one in the refrigerator, and it's not really setting up, so to speak. As you can see, it's kind of just juicy. Um, so 
so it's not going to stay on these apples very well. Stuff, but, but we'll make it work. So it'll be fine. They'll get eaten. I'm not worried about that part of it. But if I were to do it again, I would use a different caramel. <clears throat> Something a little thicker that sets up better than this. But um, anyways, that is our little project today. This one will cover him up with peanuts and maybe it'll make some of that caramel stay on there. It'll be like a caramel apple. Isaiah and I will eat them shortly, so that'll be really good for a snack anyways. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by Dee's Kitchen. Have a great day.